Alright, hello guys, the Alan Dweller here and welcome back to my channel. And yes, you guys are now seeing Cloud Pong because you know what? The future is now here, finally. Remember that update that I showcased a couple of months back? The one that is about this grand update of Cloud Pong? Well, you know what? That update is now live on the game. So if you guys have Cloud Pong on your PC or any other platform, then go ahead update it and then play it because they they finally added that uh, big quality improvement uh, life quality improvement update i heard that the developers also added uh, two small uh, life improvement updates which i will showcase in this uh, video all right so without further ado let's just jump into the game all right so here we are at our old apartment and oh my god I actually miss this apartment because it's been like what two weeks since I last touched this game you know finishing some side missions and collecting the uh, the last batch of punch cards for Eevee yep all right so yeah so it's been the last two weeks and we are with our lovely lovely character Rania here our OG career of Novalis and she's looking good, you know, rocking that blue sunglasses and that uh, blue jacket with some LEDs on. You know, typical cyberpunk-ish style. And we have pasta. Hey, pasta. <laughs> and canvas at the back. Okay, so alright, so enough about her appearance. And let's just get into the update features that is being mentioned by developers. Alright, so the first one is that we can interact with objects. Uh, I'm not sure what uh, what the developers mean by object. Uh, maybe it's camus. Camus. Nope. I am bashing my A button. Yet nothing here. Camus is just. Whoa. What did I do? <laughs> did I just? Hold on. When I press camus, it. Nope. Oh, what just happened? I'm not sure. Hold on. Uh, this photo. Alright, I'm not sure what just happened here. And what can... Oh! Okay! Alright, so we can eat pizza, I think? Uh, let's try? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Alright, uh, one more? Mm-hmm! Mm-hmm, alright! So, uh, can we drink, though? Ah! Oh, did we just drink, or... No, no, we don't want to drink. This is the best. Oh no, we just spent all of our uh, pizza. We don't want that. So alright, so we cannot drink, but we can eat pizza on Cloud Punk. So that's that's a little thing that is very nice. And what kind of other object can we uh, interact with? Let's see here. Uh, what about, oh, okay. Hello, display. Hold on. Let me move to get like a better uh, view here. Uh, I'm not sure what's. What will happen if I press A? Alright, let's try. Okay, so we turn it off and I guess we turn it on again. Okay, so that's how to activate and deactivate. We can now deactivate a uh, holo display. And uh, what else can we... Okay, Sam goes with lamps. Yep, off and on. Though I'm not sure what's the use of light in this building because we have like a heck of tons of... Tons of neons inside the room, including this very bright blueish LED. Uh, what do you want to call it? Like a study, like like a table, study table. Okay, so let's move on. What else can we? Uh, yeah, by upgrades we can uh, do that even before the updates. And can we sleep though? No, we cannot sleep. You know what? It'll be nice actually if they add that feature. You know, like sleep. Uh, but I guess that would be uh, that won't you know that 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 the the point will be missing you know because this game is supposed to be set only at nights right we have we haven't got the chance I mean we cannot see uh, what the city looks like at daytime um, buy upgrades and hold on okay uh, we can interact with the hover model oh cool. Alright, so that is our old Hava. That is our first Hava, in fact, the one that we got from Cloud Punk uh, at the beginning of the game. And we can now interact with it. Oh, it's actually pretty neat, you know? Pretty neat, small detail. 
what else can we interact with here? We've already uh, we've eaten the pizza, like four slices of it. And what about? Can we feed it? No, we cannot. But we can look at the fish tag. And there you go, guys. Cyberpunk fish. <laughs> well, you know what? Don't get me wrong. You know, this is still pretty neat feature because we can actually see the detail up close you know it, it's just it's just immersive you know that's the words that I'm looking for it's pretty immersive all right let's move on I want to go outside this is a uh, camas uh, what do you want what do you call it dog pen uh, is there something else that we can interact here the bird perhaps Nope, we cannot interact with the bird and nor with the box. Okay, all right. So I guess yeah, that's pretty much it about the uh, interacting with the. Uh, hold on. Oh, oh. So this is what happened. Uh, this is what happened. You know, we accidentally see this photo when we were uh, checking on canvas. All right. So, so I guess that's pretty much all, right? What about here? Oh. Oh, all right. So yes. Okay. So hold on. Before we go to that, no, nope, we cannot do anything else. All right. So that's the first update that uh, we received from Ireland. The second one is they said that we can now play video game, <laughs> video game inside video game. All right. That's so cool. All right. And television. All right. Let's watch. Uh, let's yeah. Let's watch television first and see what is. Uh, what are they broadcasting here in Novalis? Alright, so we are watching uh, the city of Nivalis. You know what, I kind of wish that they add a bit more stuff, you know, like uh, short TV shows, you know, maybe in the com uh, comedic nature, just like in the Grand Theft Auto. Okay. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I don't think there's a word from it, right? Yeah, I cannot hear anything. Okay, let's turn that off and I want to try this video game, this mini game that is inside the game. It's pretty cool. Alright, so let's jump into it. Invaders by the Akari Company. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do there, Iron Land. That is very... Uh, <laughs> That's very smart. All right, I want to play. All right, so let's let's play a couple of rounds of this mini game. Invaders. Are we like playing like a space invaders? Like, you know th those old games where we shoot at a uh, spaceship above us. All right, let let's just get into it. Okay, so all right, so this is kind of like those old. Uh, I'm not sure what to call it. Uh, the name of that uh, genre. You know, where we shoot uh, other planes or in this case a spaceship. You know, although the, the spaceship looks kind of like, you know, Dome City from 1980s uh, sci-fi movie. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, okay. Alright, you know what? I'll, 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 let's see how far can we go with this. So, bear with me, guys. <laughs> I'll stick with the with the uh, update showcase, but I'm just kind of curious to see where, uh, how far can I go? And is that pretty much it? Will there be like a boss fight or something? Oh, got hit. <laughs> it's actually, yeah, the minigame is fun, but the uh, enemy is kind of predictable, you know, because, oh. Yeah, that's game over, but it's kind of predictable. Oh, there's, there is actually like a, like a boss thing in the game. So I guess if you play far enough, you'll reach, you know, those, uh, the boss level or whatever you want to, you want to call it. But it's actually pretty great. You know, it's a great, um, mini game. It makes you want to come back to your apartment. So your apartment is not just. Uh, a place where you can see but you can also interact with stuff or in this game or uh, sorry in this case uh, play mini game all right so let's move on all right so yeah that's pretty much it about the uh, the smaller updates and now let's go to the big one I actually cannot wait for these you guys 
<laughs> I'm actually so excited for this. Alright, let's get out. Okay, so uh, did I park it? Where did I park it? Alright, so I parked my car here. Oh my goodness, it's been... Like I said, it's been like a couple of weeks, even I already forgot where I parked my car last time. Because I was completing side missions and stuff. Uh, Alright, so this is my car. You know, the reason I picked this one is actually because it looks kind of sporty. So, <laughs> if you guys are wondering why did I pick this one instead of the same blue one, the reason is because of that, actually. Alright, so let's just get into the... Oh! Wait, did it go directly to... Okay! Okay, so this is the... Uh, this is the cockpit mode, you guys. And... Uh, what did I... Hold on, did I press... Did, I think I accidentally hit the D-pad. Sorry, yeah, the, uh, the, uh... Oh my god, I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so speechless. This is so great. <laughs> this is so cool. Alright, and... Alright, you know what? Let's let's go to, to like, a, the fast lane here. And we can talk some more about this uh, cockpit mode. Yeah, and... Okay, so... Here we are guys, we are using the cockpit mode on Cloud Punk. <laughs> it makes the game like a, a million percent more immersive already, you know? And it makes you want to like redo this story again because because you know with, with this mi with this mode, you know, cockpit mode and first person Okay, uh, hold on. You know what? I want to go to uh, where's the uh, the fancy district? Oh, they have Avalon Heights. All right, so let's make a U-turn here. All right. All right, and this cockpit mode is actually extremely detailed, you guys. I mean, there's this. Uh, if you notice, the raindrops. They are hitting like some sort of a the, the windshields of this hover. And yeah, the, the, the raindrops kind of follow the uh, wipers, you know, so when the wipers are moving, the raindrop also follow the direction of that uh, wipers. Oh, hold on. Oh, yes, and oh, hold on. Uh, let's go to the side a little bit here. And uh, remember that feature where uh, that allows us to look around the car? We can also activate it to look around the interior. All right, so here we go. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm so speechless. And we have like what is that? Oh, and there's like a there's like a window down there as well that we can. Uh, we can see from it. Probably we can use it while we're parking. Although I bet it it'll be a bit more challenging, you know, to park in this mode. Hold on, let's let's proceed to Avalon Heights for now. Uh, Avalon Heights, where are you? All right, there you go. We found the uh, portal to Avalon Heights. Let's go. And now we are at the fancy district. I wanna. Oh, look at that! Hold on, hold on. let me ascend a little bit here. <laughs> oh my goodness! You know, driving through this district alone, this part of the city, it makes. I, I'm getting goosebumps. You know, I'm completely speechless. I'm having like a speech uh, impediment, and yet at the same time, I also. I also. It's really hard to express what is happening to me right now. And the steering is actually kind of smooth, you know? It's not like a... You know, they... Uh, it's not like one of those bad steering uh, that they implement. 
that I mean many games implement it but this one's pretty smooth if you for example if you want to drive like a normal civilian let's see here let's descend all right okay, let's descend oh we hit the uh, yeah we hit the, uh, the uh, fast lane bar all right so if you want to drive like a you know just for immersion you're enjoying the city imagining that you have to go to work for some uh, evil uh, company <laughs> you can do it like this you know it's really it's really smooth and oh, 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 oh all right you know and I'm, I'm using controller right now and i'm enjoying it completely see Oh, and there's this like a like a indicator on the top right of the screen. If you notice, it keeps repeating. Uh, it keeps telling you where you are at the moment, which is extremely cool. All right, so you know what? Let's find a parking spot. I want to try to park this thing while in the cockpit mode. Let's say here. All right. Oh. Oh, did you guys see that? All right, so well, you can use this one as well, but it's quite tricky. But if you guys don't want to do tricky stuff, then you guys can just follow the uh, the uh, how do you call that? Like a display of what's below you on the windshield. This is actually pretty cool. All right, let's descend and see if there's like a. Oh, I think we. Uh, <laughs> We uh oh, all right. A small adjustment there. Okay, so obviously the uh, parking uh, indicator is still there. It's just that it's so cool, you know, because you got this display on your windshield. Okay. All right. So this is actually a big step for this game. And the developers actually said that they will be putting more and more updates in this game. So this game is not done yet. Iron Lands is so not done with this game. You know what? What I really want to see in the future update is perhaps, you know, we can take public transport, you know. Maybe it doesn't have to be like that immersive yet. Maybe for the first time. Just like uh, we can jump from one point to another with... Uh, with, our, with the public transport and then our, our hover will tag along wherever we go and also the improvement towards the driver AI hold on I want to try if they have they, if they have actually fixed it let's descend here uh, and I want to see if someone will actually crash into us like this for example alright okay they will still drive like a maniac <laughs> All right, so they haven't uh, fixed that. That's also, you know, thing that I really want to see implemented in the future. A bit more uh, careful AI when on the road. You know what? I could just drive like this for hours, listening to that music, and just call it a day. You know, I could, I could, I could drive for hours. Doesn't even have to be. I don't even really have to. I don't have to do any missions. Just drive around. And I'm also not sure though if different cars will have different uh, cockpit interior. So I guess you know you know what I will do. I think I'll repeat the game, <laughs> repeat it from all over, just to play with this mode. You know, the first-person mode and also with this cockpit mode. That's gonna be really yeah. That's gonna be really fun, right? Okay. Or hold on, let me ascend here and let let's get off the lane and then drive through the neons. Alright. Oh and we have what is this? Alright. Yeah, and speaking of future update, I'm also hoping that they'll have uh, revamp the mission a little bit maybe add some more interior you know where we have to go inside a building to complete or to uh, trigger a mission 
you know, simple, simple interior. It doesn't have to be like a complex one. The one that is small and, you know, just immersive enough. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, you know what, guys? I <laughs> I don't want to make the, I don't I don't want this video to be like an hour long. So let's just cut it over here. So yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys, about the uh, new cockpit mode update on Cloudpunk. They'll be adding a lot of stuff in the future, and I think I'll follow this game really, really closely, and I'll inform you guys if there's another update in the future, especially the ones that are really big. All right, so uh, that's it guys for today. If you guys enjoy the video, uh, click the like button. And of course, do kindly consider to subscribe because your support means a lot to me. Uh, a bit of news. Uh, I know that uh, the other game, uh, Ghost Runner, is already released. But I think I will, I can, I cannot release a video about that this week. You know, because I am so busy with stuff that I have to do in real life, uh, in the real world, and I simply can uh, do it uh, this week. So perhaps next week or probably the next couple of weeks. Alright, so thank you guys. This is the Island Dweller signing off, and I'll see you guys on another video. Bye!